there, I'm Wendy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today you can see I have a couple more visitors with me, of course. Uh, this is my brother-in-law, Terry. Say hi, Terry. Hello. Hi. hi. And you all know my husband, Ryan, so technically he's not a visitor, but he's a visitor to the YouTube world. We'll say that. So today we're just going to jump right in and take a look at our next subscription box and I'll explain why I have these guys here with me. So today we're going to take a look at a coffee subscription and this is through Angel's Cup and this is what it looks like when it shows up at your house. Now the reason why I asked the guys to join me is I'm not really an avid coffee drinker. I'll drink it every once in a while. I'm more of a sugar-free Red Bull type of girl. So we are going to challenge their taste buds because with this subscription, it's supposed to be sort of a game. So you get four different samples of coffees that you make in a French press. And then once you make them, you guess what the flavors are, aromas, that type of thing. And then there's cards inside that give you the correct answers. So we'll see how good their, their palates are. Now I might take a sip here and there, but you know, that's why they're here because I won't know the difference. All right, so uh, when you open the package, this is what it looks like inside. And this is one that we haven't done yet, obviously. So you have your four samplings of coffee. And of course you can write like different answers down if it's just yourself doing it versus having other people. Uh, after that, you have your blind tasting cards, which look like this and you put your original guess in there and we're just going to do that live and then um, you have a little letter here that says welcome to the pack and it talks about you're officially a coffee hunter and there's some different apps um, and hashtags and things like that for you to post if you're interested in doing that okay are you guys ready to start yes all right here we go let's start with the first one um, this one you guys are in your apple cups so before you Drink it. Tell us what it looks like. What color is it? It looks a lot like tea. Yeah, it's very, so, very I light. Know, I very don't think light. I can show you without it spill. Oh, I did spill it. Hard now. I won't be able to do that. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a train wreck, Terry. It's okay. They know it. They know it. All right. So it looks like tea. Y'all just going to have to take their word for it that yeah, it looks it's, like it's tea. Like you can see the bottom of the cup. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I want you guys to tell me, as you're tasting it, tell me the flavors. I don't have much flavor. No, I think it's just, to me, it's, it's just a basic coffee flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going I'm to take it. It's very, sip. very, it, it's light. It's very, very weak coffee. Yes. It's very light. It is. Yeah. It does almost, it's like you put too much water when you were brewing it, but not, I mean, it's just the way that it's brewed, not that you did that. So what it says here um, for this one is flavors are strawberry, mango, toffee, and caramel. It says this coffee has some really nice brightness and a very light mouth feel. So I guess that it does feel light in the mouth, I suppose. I didn't get any of those flavors. <laughs> no, I didn't either. Okay. <laughs> All right. There's a medley of fruit flavors in this predominantly strawberry and mango. The finish has some strong toffee and caramel notes, which leave you wanting more. I, I could, by the way, I could drink like, this. I could drink this, but yeah, it's not. But it's very, very, very to us. To me, it's very weak coffee. Exactly. I would agree with that. And not fruity. No. Okay. Well, there you have it, y'all. All yeah. right. Let's move on to the next one. If y'all need to cleanse your palates, you know we got a little water cups here. Cleanse our palates. All right. The next cups are. What would you say? If you take a look at them, what do they look like to you? No, it's darker. It's darker. Okay. Uh, kind of looks muddled to me in a yes. way. Like uh, a... It, to me, it doesn't have a coffee smell. No, it's more smells like a cocoa. Yeah. Oh, it kind of does. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Well, give it a, give it a whirl. like that one it's very bitter to me yes that one's rough yeah and i do you guys want to take a guess at what flavors are in it uh, no i still taste a real hard cocoa like a cooking cocoa something that would make it bitter and that's yes. possible 
Um, I don't know, y'all. That was nasty. It's, it's, it, yeah, the that bitterness was... is hard to overcome. Yes. All right, well, y'all are going to be shocked then because these flavors are blueberry, bergamot, which I don't even know what that is, and lavender. It says, mm. has a soft blueberry note and even a bit of citrus like lemon. I did not know. No, I can taste a little bit of that blueberry. Can you? Okay. And the aftertaste. All right. The bear. Taste, taste the... it one more time. <laughs> can you taste it? Yeah, a little bit. A little hint. Yes. A little hint. Okay. The berry flavor is deep like boysenberry or blackberries. It's jammy. Also getting something a bit heavier like roasted hazelnut or something at the end. The aftertaste. Yes, which I have a hazelnut aftertaste. Okay. See, this is why I have them here because I've been like, I don't know what that is, y'all. Or something at the end. The aftertaste is really nice with notes of brown sugar and toffee. I don't know. I didn't get either one of those. No, I didn't know I didn't either. Okay. Well, on to the next. Here we go. So this will be your green diamond cups. So we went ahead just um, by way of getting you all in on the loop. So what we did was we went ahead and brewed these ahead of time. So that way they were ready, obviously. Okay. So have at it. Now it's darker like coffee. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that looks like coffee. No, it has a very fruity smell. Yes. It's even got a little bit of a fruity flavor. I don't know what that is. I don't like it, y'all. No, I'm not a fan of it, but I can... Yeah, you can taste a little fruity. Yes. Okay, you ready? So this, the flavors are gummy candies, fig, and vanilla. It's, it's rare that a natural Ethiopia is difficult to identify. The flavor that jumps to mind is the great white shark bites gummy from my childhood i don't know what that is now it says also getting some fig newtons which is really nice very unusual coffee good sweetness and balance creamy body total outlier for the region capri sun maui cooler now i have now listen i do drink those because i still buy them for logan it does not taste like that <laughs> capri sun maui no hard no mm -mm. like i said I, I get a fruity hint but that's yeah no Okay, well, let's keep on keeping on. So y'all can try the fourth and last one of the group. Now, the one thing that I didn't read was their various roasters or um, origins and thing like that, but those are on these cards as well. Um, but let's go ahead and jump to the last one, y'all. Now, this one has just a little more froth on top of it on mine. Yeah. Okay, so it's a little frothy. Mm -hmm. It looks like coffee-esque. It also has a hint of cocoa smell. Okay. It's a little different taste. Yeah. Well, to me, that tastes more like a coffee to me. Yes. It, it, it's of the four. It has the yes. most coffee flavor. Yeah. Like yes. more body, maybe? Yes. Maybe body to it? Okay. Here we go. The flavors are, which I can get this one, tea. I definitely felt mm -hmm. that in this one florals and honey and it says as far as the notes are concerned it's very interesting tea flavors I, i'm gonna mess this up y'all want to butcher this it says ruboi boiosis rubos i don't know how to pronounce it maybe some oolong black tea now that tea is good because yep. i've had that remember that mm -hmm. so that is good uh florals like lilies some honey sweetness overall a refreshing summer coffee okay Hard to tell that this is a Burundi, so that must be a, a type of, that's the origin of where this coffee came from. So, what do y'all think? Out of the four, I like this one. The yeah, best. I agree. I agree. I can, to me, the inside of my mouth has, like, when you eat honey, that yeah. feel inside of the mouth yeah. right now. Okay. Well, there you have it, y'all. Mm -hmm. Well, I think this was fun. What do y'all think? Just try yeah. new yeah. things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there you have it. If you guys are interested and you have coffee drinkers, um, you might want to give this a shot. If I didn't mention it at the beginning of the video, this box um, is $10.99 a month. And again, you get the four samples. You get to guess and have fun. Just make sure you don't cheat and look at these cards before you start. Um, so with that, until we meet again, talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.